Hi, today I want to talk to you about traveling and teaching. One great thing about teaching with VIP Kid is you can travel and still teach from a hotel or with your visiting friends or whatever, right? So I always take my travel bag and that's pretty much all I take. A lot of people have questions about what do you need when you go to a hotel or what do you need when you're traveling um, and teaching. So I just want to give you some ideas of things that you might want to consider. So believe it or not, everything I need actually fits in one big bag. You want to make sure that you bring your basics, right? You need your computer, your headphones, your um, external camera if you use it, your mouse. Don't forget all the power cords. Um, I also bring extra extension cord or power outlets because I never know how far I'm going to have to hook up. So I want to make sure that I'm prepared in that way. One thing you might want to bring along with you is um, if your cell phone has hotspot, that's great. Or if you have a portable hotspot, don't forget your hotspot. You do want to um, check out the Wi-Fi in your hotel or wherever you're staying and make sure that it's good enough to be able to teach. The hotel that I'm staying in today um, actually lets me upgrade. It has a basic free internet that I can access and if I don't feel that that's strong enough then I can go ahead and upgrade to a higher one. So to kind of check out the, um, the internet situation and then you want to make sure that you have lighting. That's probably the biggest, the first time I talked from a hotel that was probably the biggest problem. I was in Vegas and all the lights were really dim so now I pack extra light bulbs and I also bring um, a portable light. So that's a big thing. I've heard people actually teach from the bathroom, so that works for them as far as lighting goes. But a lot of the bathrooms have a fan, and to me that seems like it would be really loud. So just really make sure that you have your lighting set. I always like having an extra timer too, so that's a good one. And then a big thing is always, even in your real classroom, right, a big thing is always the background. Um, so this background I got from Amazon and it's kind of dark but it works and then always remember to bring my tape I just taped it up not a whole lot of tape just enough to tack it up there it's pretty lightweight and it works great so I did do a little sign that has my name on it and so yeah background is another thing and this one just folds up and sticks right in my bag so it works perfectly so I know people talk about um, being minimalists and not having a lot of props. So this is a good, traveling is a good way to just see how much of a minimalist you could be. I don't bring a lot. I just bring my little stick puppet. So Meg and Mike, and since I teach level one, um, Anna, I've got the ice cream stick, flower stick, my little monkey. So I just bring up just very few and that works. And then I make sure that I bring my um, charts and I just have different charts that I use, my smiley face chart, make sure that I bring my whiteboard and that's about it for props. My other, the other thing that we need, definitely um, our reward system. So for the reward system, I just have my little superheroes, <laughs> and um, my little princesses so you know you did a great job yay and they love it so just really simple type of reward something that you can just kind of hang out there I mean even just you get a flower you get a, an ice cream um, and then using my AR stickers a lot so that's that works perfectly fine then the last thing is just whatever you like to bring to help um, with your teaching. Like definitely I want my notepad and my pencil, my lipstick and my orange shirt, which I forgot. And um, if you bring out, you know, like I like to use my backup iPad. So that's another thing. But really don't, don't overstuff that bag. One bag my computer fits in there, my headphones, everything fits in the one bag and I just, I'm able to carry that around with me and not have to worry about anything. I know that I'm set. So I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching.